Welcome to the Visual Bucket 4.7.0 tutorials, yay! Today is episode 5 and we're going to go over crafting recipes and how to make custom crafting recipes inside a Visual Bucket. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to add a plugin component and we're going to do the plugin enable so that way our custom crafts start when the plugin starts. So the first thing you're going to need to know is that there are two types of crafting recipes. There are shaped and there are shapeless. We are first going to start with shaped because that's what most people are going to want to do and then at the end if we still have time we'll go over shapeless and just how it works but if you can get shaped it you can more than likely just get shapeless so first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to learn about persistent variables we're going to go over to the block selector and we're going to type variable to get set a persistent variable this is the first thing that we need. So let's just say our custom crafting recipe is we want three sticks on the top row and two pieces of wood coming down. And that's going to give us a XP bottle. Let's just go with that because that's yes. Okay, so we're going to set this variable. This is the variable that's going to be called to for the shaped crafting recipe. So we're just gonna call this XP bottle. So then for the value of the XP bottle, we're gonna come in and we're going to type in shaped, a new shaped recipe right here. So whenever we type on that, it's going to give us the result. So this new shaped recipe, this is going to be the result when we shape and we craft XP bottle. We want this to be set to XP bottle. Well, first we need to do a new item stack. And then this is going to be set to experience bottle. So now that we have a persistent variable that's shaped recipe, that the result is experience bottle, we can come in and we can set the shape of our shaped recipe. So uh, recipe, shaped, recipe, shape right here. So for this shape recipe shape, this is where things kind of go crazy. So first thing we're gonna need to do is we need a call to the shaped recipe, which is XP bottle. So we gotta right click and we're gonna go persistent variable. And then we just type experience bottle. Perfect, okay, so now this shape this is where it gets a little complicated. So I'm just going to build it real quick and then explain what I did after I build it. So here's what it is. When we look at this, this top row is the top row of the crafting table. So if you can see this three by three with these with these characters, these characters are going to represent items in the crafting table, which we set the ingredient over here in our block selector we'll pull this down here this ingredient is going to be set with a key and this key is the same thing as the character in our quote unquote crafting table so right now what this is set up to say is if we have all of the exact same a key in our shape of the crafting table then it will spit out an experience bottle but we don't want that right now so we're going to say a a a and we're just going to make a our stick because that's that's just easiest we're going to go with something that we won't use we're going to go z for stuff that we don't use z b z because we want our middle of the middle row to be a piece of wood and then we're going to go z b z again and so then you can see this is going to have a stick 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 across the top and then a piece of wood and and a piece of wood through the center yes okay so now we have to actually go create the keys for this crafting recipe so first thing we're gonna do is what recipe is it we're gonna click on the shaped recipe and we're going to say persistent variable again and our persistent variable is exp bottle the key for the first one we're gonna have it be a stick so we're just going to say a string raw string letter a that's our character and the ingredients oh it's material data so before you do all of this hopefully you didn't already do this right click up here and change it over to material instead of material data so that way we don't have to do the data of it but we got to go through and do all of this again and the material for the first one, we want it to be a stick. So now we have key A set as a stick and A is the top row of the crafting table. So now that we got to add another one, so add another ingredient, not shapeless. We want shaped set ingredient, sorry. Go into persisted, persistent variable, exp bottle raw string B. Ah, I did it again. Make sure that you change this to material before you start or else you're gonna have to do it all over again. But instead of doing that, we're actually just going to delete this, copy this guy, paste after, change this to B and change our stick to oak planks. Okay, so now that we have our custom craft, we need to actually add it into 
into the game. So you come up here to bucket, add a recipe, put that at the bottom. What recipe, we gotta do it again. We come into persistent variable. What persistent variable, the exp bottle. And now we just added this recipe into the game. So let's go see if it works. So now that we're back in our odd server, we're going to go slash reload, confirm. And here's a crafting table from when I was trying to figure all this stuff out. So we're gonna go game mode, survival. Actually, you know, it would help to get sticks before we did that or planks so now that we've done that we're going to change a couple of these into sticks we're going to line the top then we're going to go down to and we've got an experience bottle great so look we just made this custom craft where we have three sticks across the top and two planks down creating an xp bottle let's go look at visual bucket just to drive this in a little further so right here is the same thing we have aaa across the top and then B, B down the, down the center. Just like this, A stands for sticks and B stands planks. And that's it, that, that's, all, that's all that creating custom crafts actually takes. This is really useful for things like the player interact event that we made in the last episode. So we're gonna actually use it. So what we wanna do is take the same object that is inside of our player interact so instead of them having to type slash cool like we did in the last episode to get this stick that we use in our player interact event, and if you didn't watch it, go watch go watch the last video and a lot of this stuff will make sense. We're just going to copy this item stack and we're gonna come paste it in where our old item stack was. So paste it right here. So now experience bottle custom craft will drop a stick named cool kid with lore. This is a stick meant for cool kids. So then when we right click with this stick, like we did in the last episode, we right click the air, it'll say, hey, I am a cool kid. Let's go build it and show you how that worked. So now that we're back, we're going to reload, confirm again and then make the exact same inverted pickaxe sort of looking thing with our sticks on top and oak planks on the side. And we now get a stick that's our cool kid stick. And this stick is for a cool kids. For a cool kids thing. I didn't realize how messed up I had that last video. But now we have our cool kid stick. So when we right click with our cool kid stick in the air, it says, hey, I am a cool kid. So now you can make any custom craft be able to have player interact. And so then once you have player interact, you can do some even crazier things like slow down time or you know, you wanna speed up game ticks or give players items or you can do whatever you wanna do through the block selectors. And now they have to have a craft, um, whoa, they have to have a custom craft in order for them to actually be able to use the player interact. So let's go back into individual bucket and I'm gonna show you shapeless real quick, which is, uh, it's, it's a lot simpler than shaped. So here we are back in visual bucket and we're going to do a shape less variable this time instead of shape. So I'm just gonna add it right onto the bottom of this. Plug in enable, we just want it to enable when the thing starts anyway. So let's walk through it again. We're gonna come up to a persistent variable. We wanna add a persistent variable. The variable we're gonna call dead slap. And so with dead slap, we're going to come in here, we're going to go a new shape less, new shape less recipe, and we're gonna do something crazy. So we're gonna do new named item with lore, and uh, we're gonna do rotten flesh as the material. Name is going to be dead slapper, and the lore, insert a list, add to the list a raw, well that was weird, let's try that again. Add to the list a raw string, and we're going to type, this slap makes you dead. So now we get an item called dead slapper that is rotten flesh when we, now we build a shapeless recipe, come down to add ingredient of what shapeless recipe, persistent variable called dead slap. And the first ingredient we're going to say is rotten flesh. So they have to have rotten flesh in order to make this, this slap makes you dead. So then we're gonna add another ingredient, which I'm just going to copy and paste inside of dead slap. That is going to be, delete. We're going to say a stick because sticks are sticky. 
I guess. Finally, we're going to add recipe, just like we did in the last one. And the recipe is the persistent variable dead slap. Perfect. So now when we build it, we should be able to add rotten flesh and a stick together. And it makes a rotten flesh named dead slapper with the lore. This slap makes you dead. All right, let's just go see and make sure that this works. So rotten flesh and a stick, regular stick. This is our cool kid stick. Now we're going to add them two together. And now we get dead slapper. This slap makes you dead and it can be anywhere in the crafting table. We'll be able to make this. And that's the difference between a shaped and a shapeless. Most people are going to want shaped, but if you wanted shapeless for, you know, convenience, you can always do shapeless. So I'm going to go build something that the dead slapper is able to do just to show you how this is actually useful. So I ended up actually voting against, you know, letting everyone see exactly what I made. But you'll see eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a lot and it lets me know, hey, you enjoy these videos and that you want to keep seeing some more visual bucket tutorials. Um, go follow me on Instagram. And if you need to get a hold of me, there, there's a way to get a hold of me. Um, thank you for watching and bye.